once again, whenever I create a scanner, I need to provide a reference slash identifier slash variable name, and then I have to instantiate a scanner object and provide a parameter that tells me what it's connecting to, what it's processing. In this case, system.in means I'm processing values from the keyboard. I could also, with Java, connect it to a file. A file could be a story, could be a group of numbers, it could be all sorts of different things, but I could connect to that and instead of having to type in the values, I could read in values that were already typed in. So there's two ways you can make scanners that we know of right now. We can make one where it connects to the keyboard and now we've got another example where it connects to a file. And in this case, everything looks exactly the same as it did in the keyboard example, except now instead of the values being typed in as the program's running, they were typed in beforehand and they were put in a file called it.dat. So in that file I have 391. Whenever I create the scanner, I tell it to connect to that file it.dat and read those values in rather than reading in the values from the keyboard. Just another little way that you could, you could use scanner to give you more options. Now let's go take a look at these examples so we can get a better idea how this works. For example, in this example, this shows instantiating a scanner and connecting it to something other than system.in. In this case, we're connecting it to a file. The file is called it.dat. And in that file, I have 30, 33, 7, 11, 221, 12, and 1. So in my example, I'm just going to read in the first three values and sum them up. So let's run that. I get 51. 51 being the sum of 33, 7, and 11. And so in this example, I didn't have to type anything in. I've already typed in the value, saved them in the data file, uh, it.dat, and then I connect to it and just read those in as if they were typed. Just a different way of using the scanner and just shows a different way to instantiate the scanner with different, different parameters connecting it to something other than just the keyboard.